Hello and welcome to AbJ series. A major milestone occurred in neuroscience when on January 2024, Elon Musk's company Neuralink successfully embedded the first computer chip in a human brain. This milestone is of course a breakthrough in the realms of technology and science. In a post on X, formerly known as Twitter, Elon Musk explained that a human volunteer underwent surgery to receive the chip which his company Neuralink designed. He added that the patient is recovering well. In May 2023, it was announced that Neuralink had gotten approval from the US Food and Drug Administration FDA, for its first in-human clinical trial. This comes after the company had been previously testing the chips on monkeys. Prior to this approval by the FDA, the FDA had previously rejected a 2022 application to pursue human clinical trials, citing major safety concerns involving the device's lithium battery, the potential for the implant's tiny wires to migrate to other parts of the brain, and questions over whether and how the device can be removed without damaging brain tissue. In September 2023, Neuralink opened up its first human trials for recruitment and in January 2024, announced the first successful implant of Neuralink in a human brain. However, before going into all the details, it would be interesting to know what exactly is Neuralink. You see, Neuralink is a neurotechnology company founded by Elon Musk in 2016, which is focused on developing a brain-computer interface, or BCI, called the Link, in quotes. This interface is translated to a surgically implanted chip that aims to 1. Decode brain activity, which basically means linking records and interpreting electrical signals from neurons in the brain, allowing the user to control external devices with their thoughts alone. Then secondly, simulate brain activity. By sending electrical pulses back into the brain, the link could potentially restore lost motor function treat neurological diseases and disorders, and even enhance cognitive abilities. So apparently, Neuralink was created with the aim of seeking the betterment of humanity and to make life easier for people, including the disabled, who might need help getting their thoughts to come alive. Neuralink's journey to its first human trials began with animals. Neuralink surgically implanted their devices in the brain of live monkeys pigs and other animals. Right from inception, Neuralink's methods have been criticized by groups such as PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. From 2017 to 2020, Neuralink's experiments on monkeys were conducted in partnership with UC Davis. At the end of their partnership, UC Davis transferred seven monkeys to Neuralink. In 2022, the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine PCROM, alleged that Neuralink and UC Davis had mistreated several monkeys, subjecting them to psychological distress, extreme suffering, and chronic infections due to surgeries. Experiments also conducted by Neuralink and UC Davis have involved at least 23 monkeys, and the PCRM believes that 15 of those monkeys passed away or were euthanized as a result of these experiments. While the promises of telepathy, enhanced memory, and even curing neurological diseases are truly mind-blowing, there's no flip side to this coin. Let's explore the potential pitfalls of Neuralink and discuss how this technology could go seriously wrong. Imagine this, with a chip inside your head, your thoughts, memories, imaginations, and emotions are no longer private. The possibility that anyone could potentially hack into the brain, stealing your data, manipulating your perceptions, or even controlling your thoughts and actions is something straight out of a movie. But with Neuralink, the possibility is there. There's no need to be reminded that just like any connected device, the Neuralink implants could be vulnerable to hacking. Hackers could intercept the data flowing between the implant and the external device, potentially stealing sensitive information including private memories, financial data, and even your unique neural signature. Also, there's a high chance that anyone could implant false memories or manipulate your perceptions. 
This can be executed by altering your data stream. Hackers could manipulate anyone's reality when the data stream has been altered. These hackers could implant false memories, distort your perception of the world around you, or even control your emotions remotely. This could have devastating consequences leading to psychological distress, paranoia, and even physical harm. When done in a large scale, it could potentially lead to a humanitarian crisis. In the most extreme scenario, a skilled hacker could potentially gain control of your motor functions through the neural link implant. This could force you to perform actions against your will, turning you into a puppet under someone's control. This video is not in any way to downplay Elon's efforts or criticize Neuralink, but it's a genuine analysis of what could go wrong despite the good intentions of the American billionaire, who I respect so much. Let's shift the focus from the individual to the societal level. Imagine a future where this technology creates a stark divide between the enhanced and the unenhanced, fueling inequality and discrimination on a previously unthinkable scale. Here's how. 1. The price of superhumanity. Neuralink is likely to be expensive in its initial stages, potentially becoming a luxury accessible only to the wealthy and privileged. This could create a new class of superhumans with enhanced cognitive abilities leaving the rest of the population behind in a widening knowledge and opportunity gap. 2. Job displacement and economic disparity With enhanced minds capable of superhuman feats, automation could accelerate on an unprecedented scale. While some jobs will adapt, others could be rendered obsolete, leading to widespread unemployment and economic hardship for those without the implant. 3. Cognitive appetite and social segregation Imagine schools and workplaces segregated based on neural enhancement status. The enhanced could form exclusive communities, further deepening the divide between the haves and have-nots. This could lead to social unrest, discrimination, and even violence. Fourth, eugenics and the devaluation of the natural mind. The ability to enhance cognitive abilities through technology could raise disturbing ethical questions. With Neuralink, could we be paving the way for a future where natural minds are viewed as inferior, leading to discriminatory practices and even attempts to fix them? In quote, through genetic engineering, we may never know the answer to this question, at least for now, but it could come up in the future as the technology develops. As we delve deeper into the potential downsides of Neuralink, we come face to face with a profound question. Could this technology fundamentally alter what it means to be human? Neuralink promises to enhance our cognitive abilities, but where does enhancement end and augmentation begin? With constant access to information and the ability to seamlessly integrate with technology, could we lose touch of our own innate creativity and critical thinking skills? What happens when external knowledge overshadows our internal wisdom? Can there be that innate human natural desire to think outside the box? Imagine constantly relying on Neuralink to remember facts, make decisions, or even experience emotions. This dependence could erode our sense of individuality and autonomy. Are we truly ourselves if our thoughts and feelings are constantly shaped by an external stimuli? Implanting the brain? Also, Neuralink's potential to interface with virtual worlds raises the unsettling prospects of disembodied consciousness. Could we become detached from our physical bodies leading to a disconnect from the tangible world and the richness of human connection. Social media and the internet age has kind of contributed to this phenomenon where people have lost some form of touch with reality and are engrossed with the screen, be it watching videos, playing games or reading articles online. In Neuralink, there are the possibilities of unforeseen circumstances that could arise since it's a new uncharted territory involving the human brain. Firstly, the human brain itself is a complex ecosystem 
where even minor changes can have unforeseen cascading effects. A seemingly harmless tweak or neural activity through neural link could trigger unexpected psychological or neurological problems, disrupting delicate pathways and leading to unpredictable outcomes. Secondly, neural link aims to boost cognitive abilities, but what if it unintentionally unlocks dormant parts of the brain with unknown functions? Will these enhancements come at the cost of unforeseen side effects, altering our perception of reality, or even unleashing latent mental instabilities? Thirdly, our biases and prejudices are often deeply ingrained in our subconscious. We neural link potentially impacting subconscious neural processes. Could it amplify existing biases or unintentionally create new ones, leading to unintended discriminatory behavior or societal divisions? Finally, imagine Neuralink's complex interaction with the brain inadvertently fostering the development of artificial consciousness within the implant itself. This scenario bordering on science fiction could raise profound ethical questions about the rights and nature of this imagined consciousness. Despite all that could go wrong with Neuralink, the prospects are highly encouraging. Neuralink's success could revolutionize not just healthcare, but also the way we interact with technology, shaping the future of work and data. Imagine controlling digital devices with metal, enhancing productivity, and breaking barriers in communication and data processing. This technology could integrate humans more closely with artificial intelligence, possibly leading to new ways of thinking and working. Neuralink's first human trials went successfully, according to a post by Elon Musk on X. Elon Musk stated, quote, The first human received an implant from at Neuralink yesterday and is recovering well. Initial results show promising neuron spike detection." End quote. Of course, as per privacy regulations, the human who had the Neuralink chip implanted in the brain is not known. There has not been further revelations as to how the human volunteer who tried the product out is faring. But from Elon's tweet, the person is recovering well. Neuralink's website began recruiting people who would be volunteers for their Neuralink brain chip experiment in 2023. As per the company's policies as stated in their website, volunteers were required to be United States citizens or permanent residents as they prohibited non-US citizens from participating. Though Elon's Neuralink could change the world, the company has had its fair share of criticism from the mainstream media and scientists alike. According to an article published by the MIT Technology Review, Neuralink was put neuroscience theater. The article written in 2020 argued that it would be difficult to see Neuralink fulfill the promises it has claimed it can, especially in relation to using the brain to control external devices. MIT Technology Review also accused the demonstration of Neuralink as having the main objective to put stir excitement adding that Neuralink has provided no evidence that it can or has even tried to treat depression, insomnia, or a dozen other diseases that Musk mentioned in a presentation. Also, Andrew Jackson, professor of neural interfaces at Newcastle University, commented on Neuralink saying, quote, I don't think there was anything revolutionary in the presentation, referring to Neuralink's BBC presentation. Tiago Azua of the Medical College of Wisconsin argued that Neuralink's functions are not novel and that ideas for a brain-machine interface or BMI are at least 50 years old. He made his claim by citing successful control of a robotic prosthetic arm by a man that gave him haptic feedback, which he used in 2016 to give President Obama a fist bump. Azua also said, that the 2020 Neuralink presentation showed little more than a flashy new design for a BMI with more electrodes. Neuralink's journey just began and has already seen a lot of buzz with promising future for the startup. It's obvious that the development of Neuralink is at crossroads, especially when viewing it from the ideology 
and moral point of view. We stand at the precipice of a technological revolution, but without careful navigation, we risk plunging into a future fraught with unintended consequences. It would be good to approach the technology with caution, prioritizing ethical considerations alongside innovation. Only then can we ensure that Neuralink becomes a symphony of empowerment for humanity, not a discordant prelude to its downfall. Thank you for joining us in our channel today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content like this. See you later.